Just like that, we're back. <laughs> SD card in, day two, Mooch Life. Alright guys, we're back. I lied to you. We get one more bonus clip here on our New York City adventure on Mooch Life. We are at the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum. Ta-da! Alright, we just purchased our tickets. We're going to head out down the pier and we are going to tour something that I think is very awesome uh, for the first part of this adventure. And that is a British Airways Concord. If you don't know what that is, it's a plane that is no longer in service. Um, but I actually have a keen interest in them. Not a keen interest, but I actually have an interest in them because I don't know why I, f I stumbled upon them in uh, YouTube land and uh, saw what they were capable of doing. But they basically have wings like a like a big fighter jet, and it uh, has a top speed of like something crazy it was a plane they used on british airways to go from england to new york city in like four hours you were like 800 miles an hour it's like twice as fast as any normal jetliner goes and uh if you look up on youtube you'll see a bunch of cool videos about them and um one that actually had a tragic fate and caught on fire right after takeoff and uh you know crashed and pretty sad but the uh the plane itself is a is a marvel and i wish it still was in service i don't know exactly why they don't run them anymore i feel like it's logistics it wasn't cost effective maybe had all kinds of cool things for them to achieve the speeds that they do there was like some extra technology that had to take place and uh one of the big thing was with the nose like it like slid the cone in the front of the plane. It like slot slides like up or down. I forget, but we are about 20 yards away from.
So that's the Concord from the outside, but you guys are in for a special treat because me and Mrs. Mooch, we forked up seven extra dollars so that we can get the add-on package that allows us to go into the first class cabin of the Concord. So stay tuned because we are going inside the Concord. There's a guest seat on the left. If you'll Mark II. There will often be a uh, proposal of marriage at some point in the play. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, wherever you guys got engaged, or if you are uh, not married, yeah, whatever, when you do become engaged, uh, it's a special place, no matter where it is. Uh, and if it's on Concord, then somebody will take a picture of that proposal <laughs> of Mark II. And, uh, <laughs> and so it'll be cool. Uh, so, welcome to the cockpit. Uh, the gentleman over here is your captain, and this gentleman is your first officer. Okay. They're looking at identical dashboards, uh, minus this. That's the nose control. Uh, five degrees for takeoff, 12 and a half for landing. This is the afterburners. This is the Mach meter. It's autopilot. Emergency. This is a fire retardant system over here. The rest is for emergencies. The gentleman over here, there's a big huge panel in front of him. He's constantly relocating fuel, making sure the center of gravity is level. He wants to make sure this plane flies level and efficient at all times. That's his job. His panel will move because this is where the expansion joint was right oh, over here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's where the hat was? That's where the hat was, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, obviously, if you go into today's plane, uh, today's planes don't have three people in the cockpit. They have two only. The flight engineer has been eliminated because of technology. Okay. We have a lot of circuit breakers behind here. And then we have this over here. It's the security door. Those seats you are sitting in are carbon fiber and titanium. This is one of the three planes British Airways retrofitted after 9-11. Okay, and one other cute thing uh, is look at the side window controls. What does it say on Do there? not open window in flight. Yeah, that well, was yeah. just one of those in case they forget their training. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be, oh my god. <laughs> to be a pilot, you need to be one, uh, at least 10 years flying experience. Number two, you need to be invited for British Airways oh, wow. or Air France. And number three, you need to spend four to six months training on a flight time. It's a pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, right above us, we have a signature. That's Captain Leslie Scott. She signed the plane at our request, not when she was a pilot, uh, to commemorate the record huh. flight we talked about. Okay. Well, Any questions? Wow. <laughs> this is neat. This is, yeah, this is really neat. So you guys neat. want me to take a picture of both you guys up here? Yeah, sure. Great. Um, this is the cockpit of the Concorde. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Supersonic, 1,200 miles an hour. Are you kidding me right now? Let's go check out the cabin here. Look at all these fuses and stuff. It's crazy. Kind of just... I want to check out the cabin more. So the seats are like... Oh, so that's a restroom there. <laughs> so it's like 25 rows of seats. And then these windows are like really small.
That's where the mock and the speed and the altitude should be. Alright. Sorry about that. That's alright. Yeah, there's all good things come to an end. Yes, they do. <laughs> well, I hope you guys like that. There's parts of it that I'm not going to put on the internet for that guy's request, the gentleman there. But uh, it was really fun. So, hope you enjoyed that clip here on Mooch Life. Bring me back to where we started.